Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual. But the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess their rank by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. My condolences, Kurt. I'm truly sorry. I know the pain of losing the crew. Thank you, Pascal. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? We have a situation, Manfred. Rayner didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rayner assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th. Before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that. You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Raven was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Good day, soldier. Uh, good day, my lord. De Sardé, legate of the congregation on Tier Fredi. Captain Kurt. Oh, I... Excuse me, Excellency. I... I didn't know. Captain, I... I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the Guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? Since you know who we are, Present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. 
Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? Do you know a recruit going by the name of Rainer? Rainer? I... It's just... Excellency, please. The boy is terrified now that he knows who we are. So long as he's in that state, he'll say nothing of worth. You should bring him a bottle to calm his nerves. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Excellency! I saw you in the palace, if I'm not mistaken. Your Excellency has a good eye and memory. I am one of the officers, in charge of the protection of your cousin's counselors. How can I help you? We are investigating the death of a young recruit, a certain Rainer. I've never heard the name before. He's not one of my men. I know, but you might at least have heard someone mention him in passing. Did he die at the palace? No, we have no idea where it happened, only where the body was found. So? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. That doesn't ring any bells. None at all. I recruited the lad myself, Lieutenant. And just a while ago, I saw his body broken and bruised in the morgue. Someone has been trying to cover this up, to lead us down false trails at every turn. But Rayner deserves justice. I know you have to understand that. I hear you. The murder of one of our own should not go unpunished. But alas, I don't know how I can help you. This is the first I've heard about it. Good day, Lieutenant. My lord, you are one of the governor's confidants, are you not? Indeed. De Sade, the governor's legate. My sincere pardon, Excellency. I didn't want to show any disrespect. Captain? Lieutenant? How can I help you? We seek information concerning a young recruit, a certain Rayner. Rayner? Sorry, name isn't familiar to me. He must be with another company. Are you sure about that? This is an important matter. I'm certain, Captain. Was he family to you? I recruited him. You know what that's like. The boy was killed and then tossed in the bay. I want the head of whoever's responsible. I did hear talk of a young lad found in the port waters. That's my sector. But I was told that it was an accident, and I had no reason to doubt it. Are you sure the lad was murdered? Absolutely certain. Beaten to death, to be precise. Well, that's horrible. But I don't know anything about it. Too bad. Thank you, all the same. Goodbye, Lieutenant. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for information concerning a young recruit going by the name of Rainer. Sorry, there's nothing but soldiers here. With a few sailors. Well, one recruit or another, it's half a dozen of one, six of the other to me. You should just try talking to them yourself. You got yourself quite a selection. What can I pour for you? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful, she's got a strong bite. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Here, you seem tired and a little on edge. A drink would do you some good. It's just that I don't know if I'm allowed. You're on leave, or you wouldn't be at the tavern. Then why not? Yes, but this is His Excellency's own bottle. I don't know if I can. Drink, I tell you. Now then, why don't you tell us what you know about Rainer? Well, I didn't. I didn't serve with him. Well, not really. We just crossed paths. He was leaving the 11th when I joined. Everyone said he was good, strong, and, uh, followed orders. And then, poof, Lieutenant got this order, and he wasn't happy. And I mean really quite unhappy. 
And then Rayner, he was gone. We never saw him again. We asked where he'd been sent, but the lieutenant didn't want to tell us. Said that it was none of our business. But you, he won't be able to say no to you. You should go and offer him a drink, too. Where can we find your lieutenant? At the barracks. Thank you. And watch yourself when leaving. Wouldn't want you to fall into the bay. That would be all, soldier. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? What's your assignment? The 11th is assigned to road and outpost security for the congregation on the island. As for me, I'm responsible for the training of recruits and the patrol duty roster. Anything else? Could you tell me which company you serve? The 11th, Excellency. Anything else? We are concerned about the death of a young recruit named Rayner. Let's be perfectly straight. We know that Rayner belonged to your company. And as the acting lieutenant instructor, you certainly had him under your command. So just stop with the lies. We've lost enough time here. You know what they say. Guard business is well guarded. And concerns only the guard. Now, unless you've lost your eyesight, you've a captain in front of you. I... I know, but this story is dangerous, Captain. If you have so much as an ounce of respect for the boy, speak to us. Don't you believe he deserves justice? Yes, of course. But you have no idea what's been going on here. If word got round that I've been talking, come back after sundown, when there's fewer folk. Very well. We'll be back. <sighs> Anything else? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Your crew has the scurvy, Kurt, and they're dying from fear. I must agree, sailor, and I don't like it one bit.
Let's get rid of these money bags. We are quite alone now. You may speak to us. Reyna was indeed a member of my company. And an excellent recruit. But you already know that. Continue. One morning, I got a note telling me he'd been transferred from my company. He'd received a new assignment. I was so furious that I did my own little investigation to see where he'd been sent. It wasn't easy. No one wanted to give me answers. No one seemed to know anything. But one thing's for certain. Rainer wasn't the only man to have disappeared. I learned that a good many recruits, all the cream of the crop, had been reassigned. And finally, I learned about the existence of a phantom regiment. What sort of nonsense are you talking about? A sort of secret elite company that were following a special training program. Where can we find them? I've no idea. I had to put my investigation to rest. Things were getting dangerous. I began to sense I was being watched. This regiment protects its secrets at all costs with few scruples. If you want to know more, the training officer of the Sixths might know something. It's been said that he took part in one of their missions alongside them. Are you certain you've nothing more to tell me about this infamous secret regiment? I've told you everything I know, at the risk of ending up like Rayner, Excellency. Go and see the officer of the Sixth if you want to learn more. And leave me alone now. Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell. Hello, officer. Excellency, can I do something for you? Thank you, Lieutenant. Farewell.
Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? What company do you serve? The Sixth, Excellency. Anything else? To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, Congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Tell me about the Phantom Regiment. About what? I... Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, Your Excellency. Are you certain you don't know where this Phantom Regiment camp can be found? Absolutely certain. And to be honest, I hope I never hear about this matter again. Rayner was one of my recruits, Lieutenant. A young man that I admired. He was killed. His death was disguised. We've been lied to time and time again. Thanks to my friend, we finally learned that the boy had rejoined the Phantom Regiment. And so now, you're gonna tell me all you know without being a weasel about it. Trust me, you don't want me to lose my nerve. But, Captain, I... Now! I've seen the regiment. Even fought beside them on an operation. On that occasion, our marching orders were kept secret until the last minute. We were asked to remove our regiment emblems. And our pay wasn't even recorded. And of course, we were ordered to speak to no one about it under any circumstances. I hope you realize the risk I'm taking, talking to you about all this. Have no fear. We understand. What was this operation? An attack. A lightning strike on a caravan from the Bridge Alliance. Marvelous. A company that behaves like back alley bandits. I know. It really shakes up the honor code. The regiment is made up of young recruits, carefully chosen. Only the best make it through. The training is extremely arduous. And my guess is that Rayner isn't the only one who's died from it. I know that they set up camp just outside the city, where the men live and train. But I'd be at a loss to tell you precisely where it's found. Sorry, Captain. Thank you, Lieutenant. This story is making me sick. Poor Rayner. If I'd have known, I'd never have recruited him. I'm sorry, Kurt. This isn't your doing. But these filthy phantoms, or whatever they are, are gonna have to settle the debt. Believe me. You do realize that your own commander is certainly involved in this on some level. Outright clandestine operations could not have taken place without his approval. That he's aware of the existence of the regiment, there is no doubt. That he approves of what they're doing. It wouldn't be the first head that didn't know what his hands were up to. What do you wish to do now? I'm gonna find the location of this camp. I have a few friends that can certainly help us. And when I know where to smoke out these bastards, I'll go and have a few fiery words. If you were of a mind to accompany me, two of us would not be too many to make sure they settle their debts. Let me know when you discover where they are to be found. You can count on me.
Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case... Here's the patent that will allow your protégé to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy, the other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? 
No, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival, since apparently, he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin, and now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here, and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though, if you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? 
Justice cannot wait. I'm ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. You've won the affections of the crowd, and when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. I owe you my life, on Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side. By what name should I address you? My name is the Sade. In fact, it's your cousin the merchant that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. Ready to excite the... Could you explain the rules again? Sir, in order each to... Once... I need to get going. Huh. Ah! On old Menawi! Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, oh, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Munawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Ah, on old Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. Good people, the cure and wine from the continent. Here for the Ready to excite the crowd. I need to get going. Huh. Ready. Perfect. Just my lords and ladies, here is a new team of fat. Taking to our proud arena. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go. <laughs> Ready to excite the crowd. I would like to abandon the current challenge. Huh? Are well, you... if you want... 
I need to get going. Huh. And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you saw them win the first challenge with audacity. And here they are again for the second. Ladies and lords, applause for this unique team. Led by the congregation legate, him... And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. Just here for your greatest pleasure. Our team of excellence. Once again, they are here to kick up the sand of the arena. Hoping this time to win the third challenge.
And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're... You've grown to love their faces. You know... Tactics. The excellence are back, and they are now more ready than ever to fight to win with all their hearts. The fourth challenge. Fight! 
and the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as incredible. Who would have ever believed that our excellence would have risen so high so quickly? And now, ladies and lords, here they are, ready to fight the ultimate challenge. Will they be consecrated champions of the arena? to get dicey.
Yeah, let's go! Let's see what you're doing! 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 Let's see what you're doing!